in shock! I'm in terror! Ah! <laughs> it's so, now you get a big payday with a big stock option, huh? Yeah, I earned it. All those big deals I did with NCT. And millions of dollars of revenues and sales. Well, you've done a great job, Rod. Meet Rod. Hi. A young software salesman on his way to achieving his Silicon Valley dream. Thinking about opening up a green tech company. Really? Meet Natalie, a beautiful young fashion model driven by passion. I remember you now. You were my English class. I was. Yeah. So how come you never made a pass at me in school? Throw true love into the equation, and anything is possible. This is burnt Whew, that was close, you guys. It was. Yeah, it was. And I'm glad we made it away from that movie. Because it was horrible. Yeah. The sad thing is we've uh, seen this multiple times. <laughs> Something brings us back. <laughs> Saw it a uh, Night of Sin, yep. which we have at the end of every month. So if you're in the Augusta area, come check us out. What's it right after? <clears throat> right after Tales from the Box at the Chat Noir. Check that out. Yep. For Funny. all their stuff. Good times. And we also saw it for uh, Rift Tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we watched it. Didn't we watch it a third time at someone's house? Yeah, <laughs> when we first got it, we watched it. You were probably on three phone times. the whole time. <laughs> we love it so much. <laughs> three times the charm. And it gets better every time. Um, the movie is about. Well, it's weird. It's almost yeah. like you have a, you have one movie going on, and all of a sudden, about halfway through, <laughs> kind of hoping you all shed some light. Here come. <laughs> here about. come. The, it's a love story, and then it becomes a survival story. Yeah. And there's a, the lead guy is a software guy, I guess, and sell, makes up was a million dollar deal at half price, mm -hmm. and then goes out and sells his some kind he creates some kind of solar panel energy system and sells yeah. that, and he's just a living life. Buys a hybrid Mustang. Yes, he does. Gets the beautiful girl. Who's a model, isn't she? she dirty feet. Dirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> Wash them feet. <laughs> And then, yeah, and then all of a sudden, in mid-love story, and suddenly there's a crisis begins. And there is crisis. Well, <laughs> typical story mode, everything's going good, and then, boom, shock problems. and terror. Yeah, but it's going good for, like, half the movie. <laughs> yeah. Usually something happens, like, the first... Yeah, you got 30 minutes to, to get into that. that, that yes when it does movie. happen, it's like, even the cutaway yeah. scenes are, like, nice, nice, boom. <laughs> Birds <laughs> crashing, explosions, like... Birds are filled with gasoline these days, <laughs> by the way. And apparently acid vomit. Yeah. Was one of the... You gotta do what you gotta do. I, I mean, but I can see that, you know, with like all of the bad things that humankind is doing to the world. Yes. It's just causing the birds to evolve That's to, the, to uh, defense. The yeah, underlying defense message is uh, uh, preservation of nature and mm -hmm. all this bad stuff that we're doing. Which is obviously Al Gore's fault. I believe you both just quoted the scientist's dialogue from the movie. Who shows up? I wrote that scene <laughs> out of nowhere. This is, this is real science. Actually, two <laughs> different yeah, two different times. It just you're all of a sudden you're bird and then there's like pause for a brief uh, expository. <laughs> hey, let, let, let me yeah, PSA. Well, it was like things had gotten bad after the birds had attacked and they had rescued two kids and pretty much adopted them in a day. They, I think we're having a picnic on the beach. Because that's what you do when birds are attacking. Mm -hmm. You have a picnic. And there's a random scientist out there just kind of standing on a bridge. And he's like... But it's a bridge that goes nowhere. It crosses a creek. <laughs> it, it crosses a mud puddle. Creek. Crosses, a, <laughs> crosses my nerves. <laughs> it goes nowhere in a story that went nowhere. Yes, yeah. so and then they're in the forest and same thing. They're, they're just in the forest and this mountainy man, hippie, appears. Tells him this nice... Exposition of why you should preserve mm -hmm. nature. Then he, I believe his line is, "I gotta go." I heard a mountain lion, <laughs> and he just runs off. I was like, "Was there a lion involved in that somewhere?" And it's just the weirdest <laughs> exit of a of a scene. Well, I they, they we couldn't should... get any CGI mountain lions, so they just had to. Well, they spent their budget on the bird. <laughs> they did. Well, you know, we could try and remake it. If it was a thousand dollars a bird, I don't want to remake that. We just got chased in here by those birds. That's true. <laughs>
<laughs> but it was, you know, for a, a Night of Sin, it was a very fun watch. Yeah. I, actually, everybody really, really loved that movie. They did. They did. The thing is, like, the director, from what I've read, was he, he was serious. Believed. It's supposed to be a very serious romantic thriller. Hitchcock. Romantic thriller? Yes. <laughs> did I miss the romance in that clip? Uh, uh, yes, but the, the, the romance is the beginning of the film. Oh, I see. Yes. The overall film is supposed to be very serious. So when people laugh as yes. they watch it, yes. does it hurt your feelings? No. First time I ever sat with a full audience. Sure, perhaps there are a few, perhaps they were laughing at the movie. But I think that the majority of the audience who were there really were laughing with the movie. Let's also get our backs to each other. That way we can see the birds coming from every direction. Okay. Right, just like this. Whew. All right. All right. Ready? Let's, Let's go. go. Do you think it's a good film? I think that it's a good film. Uh, Based uh, with the condition that w what I had to work with. How much did this cost? It was a little less than ten thousand dollars. And where'd you get the birds? It's, it's a three D animated uh, birds, and I hire a student from Academy of Art out of San Francisco and the animators. I think that from a distance, I think those eagles and vultures look pretty realistic mm -hmm. uh, and shocking and terrifying. It's just like a hundred million dollar picture. I believe it's a part two now. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's I think I think so. But then the thing is, is like a lot of those movies, you have like trauma that make good bad movies. You, there's a lot of um, a lot of companies that they specialize in that kind of stuff, and there's the, no companies are just going to pick those up. I mean, there might be some shot on video ones, but there's not a broad audience for for people to buy those. And um, I thought it was it was really cool that as soon as it it was out and people were starting to, to have a buzz about it, Severin picked it up and they. Uh, they jumped on that. Yeah. And they, they, they picked it up. They and realized how that. much fun it could be made. Yep. That's good. Dirty feet, motel scene. Probably Be my favorite Beautiful scene. woman with horribly. <laughs> Apparently, when you make love these days, you make love you, with all your clothes you on. You do. <laughs> it's called safe sex. I need to take <laughs> that. explains why I'm single. Between that and the room. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. I mean, I think we get a full circle on <laughs> how to make... I have yet to watch The Room. You didn't see The Room? I wasn't there that night. I'm sorry. We will show you. So, is it poop scale time? It's a cock uh, scale. One to five. Five being... You really loved it. You loved it for its horribleness, and mm -hmm. one being you could not stay awake and you were on your phone the entire time checking Facebook and seeing whose friend requested you. I did. The movies I love. That's why I'm staring at you <laughs> as I said that. Where is my phone? I'm sitting on yeah, it. Yeah, Damn back. One to five. Poops. I'm going to give it two and a half poops. I mean, for a bad movie, it was still pretty bad. Yeah, but Although, that's what made it beautiful. I enjoyed it. It's still, it's like when you watch it, you're just like, oh. Yeah, but then, then, um, I'm, you, you finished the one. Yeah, it's I, two and a half, because, I mean, I enjoyed watching it, but it's not a bad movie I can keep going back to to watch. But obviously I can't because I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll give it three poops. And I, it has a weird replayability to it because it's like, even, no matter how bad it gets, it keeps getting worse. And that just, I love that. So yes, I give it three poops. Plus I find the, the female lead was 30 foot. Super model out here. Kill him. I, as well, will give it three poops. And it's because y y you can make a bad movie purposely and not hit all those marks. This guy was trying, and he did it somehow. Home run. He made this thing somehow to what it is, and I don't know how. I, I couldn't do it. If he, I doesn't, he doesn't have, didn't seem to have the knowledge to to push it to be better. I mean, it's and that was not the having that eye. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, he, yeah, he thought he was making a blockbuster. Yeah, this, he's like, oh yeah, this is great. But for that, for his passion that he put into it, and because like we have watched it several times, and I, I, I get a YouTube by you know once in a while, like, oh look at this clip and laugh and have a good time. I mean, it's yeah. mine is strictly on how I feel about the movie, mm -hmm. but I mean that guy probably deserves five poops for, for the passion <laughs> that he had for me. He just made a subcategory: <laughs> directorial poops. <laughs> I would poop on this man five times. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Things just this got weird here in the studio. The birds <laughs> dwindled into some <laughs> scattergorf levels. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. Thanks so, for watching. Uh, yeah, we'll put a link to the trailer. Subscribe. Subscribe yeah. to us. 
And whatever else we want to put up. Just buy us a fan. Yeah, please. So and, uh, some cash so we can get a fan in here. We'll see you for the next review, I suppose. Bird out.